standard C++ line of code, which allows me to go uh, and put up a hello world type comment here. A couple of things I want to talk about in here. First of all, you'll notice that it's a very standard C, um, uh, very standard C++ type format with the, curl, with the uh, colons in here and so on and so forth. Very standard. The other thing is this async word. And one of the things that's important for developers in the Metro and Windows 8 going forwards is that you have to build your applications in an asynchronous manner. If you write an application which goes and expects the internet to be there or expects a camera device to come back straight away or expects the file system respond to respond immediately, that's not going to work very well. It's going to give a poor user experience. The, the machine is going, to, is going to stop or jitter or, 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 or slow down. Um, so wherever possible, you should use these asynchronous keywords. What we've done is we've taken all the synchronous models and built them as asynchronous models, which means that um, you, uh, you can actually use uh, asynchronous types of programming get, and getting a, an asynchronous type uh, functionality. Okay, so this is, I'm just running this as a, in debug, very simple, hello world, you saw the click me button, I click on it and it puts up hello world, very, very simple, but the point here I want you to take away, can I have the power function? Okay, the point I want you to take away from this, or the points I want you to take away from this, is that it was actually a very, very standard uh, C++ type environment, something that, that C++ programmers are very used to, and it's actually exactly the same for, for the other languages as well, and I'll show that in a minute. Uh, the second thing is that now we're providing things like XAML for, um, for, our, for, for C++ developers. So now C++ developers can use XAML uh, and get all the functionality that you, 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 you can use from XAML and, and start to build these very nice UIs. Um, and the third thing I want you to take away is that uh, th these were native calls. That was C++ making a native call to RT. It wasn't going through uh, any, uh, anything else other than the, the standard API calls, which means that the performance was very good on that. It didn't show, of course, on a Hello World application, but it, in, in, in general, the performance is very, very good when you, when you start doing that sort of thing. Okay, uh, so from a C++ point of view, what we're seeing is that you, know, you can actually start to use WinRT, you have a new UI model, which is very easy to use, with a whole load of controls built in for you, but at the same time, it's very familiar. Okay, so let's have a look at what those, are, those APIs look like. Um, down at the bottom, we have a set of fundamental APIs. We have the application services and threading model, memory management, authentication, all the sort of things you'd expect, again, from a, from a modern operating system. Above that, we have the media, uh, media APIs. Um, I have, don't have time here to show you those, but uh, they, what we're providing is we're providing really simple uh, usability for a developer to go and build things like camera capture, to build things like uh, video playback devices, uh, and so on and so forth. So we're providing that all as part of, uh, of WinRT. We're obviously supporting a whole range of different devices, and we're working very hard with our OEM partners to make sure that we support all the standard devices that they're building today. So the camera devices, geolocation, uh, NFC, things like accelerometers. We're providing all those built in so that the developer can go and build applications using those devices very simply. Talked a little bit about the communications and data. Obviously, things like memory management, notifications, those sort of areas, eventing. Um, one of the things that I will point out, a couple of things I will point out in here, is that, first of all, we support this whole uh, idea of notifications. And you saw um, on my previous demo of uh, Windows 8 UI, you will saw the little badges with the number of updates that I had and that sort of information. That comes from a whole uh, notification subsystem underneath. And that notification subsystem um, actually uses the cloud as well uh, to get information down so that you can tell when something's changed on an application. And you as a developer can build, uh, using Windows notification services, a very scalable method of getting information into your applications. 
And on top of that, of course, we provide our user interface services. I've talked about HTML5, uh, CSS3, and I've also talked about XAML in some detail. One thing I didn't talk about, which 